an idea, but for myself, I was expecting a little bit more. I couldn't really find the, the good rhythm in the, in the, in the second half of the, the TP, and I think uh, I gave in too much time over there. And, uh, so I was hoping for more, but uh, it is what it is for now. Right? No, yeah, it's just just this. You, you have to push as hard as you can on the on the on the uphill parts and uh, try to recover a little bit in the downhill. So it's more about feeling. Uh, you can uh, have some numbers in your head, but yeah, it never comes out the way you want to predict. So uh, I don't really ride on my power meter for the TP. Yeah, we have to wait and see what the results are, and then we have to make a plan towards the weekend, of course. And uh, yeah, we have to wait and see uh, what we can do and uh, try to make uh, try to make the most out of it. How important are these TPs with the Tour de France with so many time trial stops? Uh, yeah, they are important in every uh, Grand Tour, of course. You see that, and. Uh, it's a uh, it's a part of the TC and uh, especially this tour uh, to it's quite long TT so uh, yeah it's uh, gonna make a lot of difference uh, for the GC for of course. With the three summit finishes ahead, everything going to change in the following four three Alpine finishes. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough stage, I think. Uh, uh, maybe the TT sets a little bit of a GC now, but I think with the, the two stages in this weekend, they're gonna maybe. Uh, yeah, put the overall uh, upside down again. Okay. <laughs>